Cross slot openers make horizontal slots, shaped like an inverted T. Humidity is trapped in the seed zone beneath a mulch of crop residue. Both the soil and this residue are then folded back over the slot. This cocoons the seed and seedlings in a humid microenvironment that also has good soil to seed contact. They therefore get the best of both worlds. The end result is the highest possible reliability of seedling emergence from dry soils. And horizontal slots are unique to cross lots. What's more, the same benefits occur in wet soils, but for entirely different reasons. In this case, horizontal slots place residue where earthworms and other soil fauna can find them. Their burrows aerate the soil around the seed and provide drainage channels. Yeah, we, we sow a lot of small seeds and um, in, in various conditions, from very soft soils to some very stony uh, bouldery type riverbed conditions and the, the machine's ability to maintain its depth control uh, in these conditions is, is fa fabulous. Our, our customers regularly comment on the emergence that the cross lot provides, the evenness across the fields, um, particularly in, with, with peas into, into pastoral or ex-pastoral conditions. Um, brassicas do come up very evenly um, and is noticeable. You can basically pick out the crops that have been cross-lotted in the district. Nature's not silly. It's no accident that seeds ripen and fall from the plant before the residue covers them. The residue contains moisture, but it also breathes. Cross-lot openers put seeds where nature intended, under that residue. On the other hand, Cultivation does everything unnatural by burying the residues first or removing them altogether by baling, burning or feeding to livestock. Nor does burying crop residue by cultivation improve soil organic matter, as many people believe. The act of cultivation releases more carbon into the atmosphere than is gained from the residue being buried. The net result is that the organic matter in the soil gradually reduces until such time as the soil is virtually carbon free.